Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're interested in seeing how we achieve this super beautiful, bronzy, chocolate, smoky eye, this really beautiful bridal glam, then hang tight and keep on watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Alright guys, so first I'm starting with some micellar water just to cleanse everything down and make sure there's no extra oil stuck in her pores. And then I'm going in with my brow freeze and a spoolie and just pressing everything upward, getting really into those hairs so they're nice and secured. And then making sure I push down on that brow later, um, off screen actually, to make sure they stick. Then I'm going in with my Santa Brow Book, of course in the shade Brunette on an angled brush and I'm just filling in any gaps. I'm starting in the middle so it's darker there and then gradually working my way towards the tail of the eyebrow and towards the front making sure it's really nice and fluffy and not a very harsh boxy shape. With the NYX eyebrow pen I am going in and filling in a little more gaps to give it a little more dimension and then course cutting out those brows with a nice concealer brush although I am using the Makeup Forever HD foundation palette for this one. So I'm just going around applying that color everywhere on her lids so we can begin with a nice base. Going in with a nice peachy neutral tone from my Morphe 350 palette and a fluffy medium sized brush, I am now layering that first coat of eyeshadow all over her lid. I'm really blending it in, I'm starting to shape everything out, I'm pulling it all the way upward really near her brows because she's got beautiful lid space and we really want this to pop. And then I'm fluffing everything out with a clean fluffy brush. Next, I am going in with a taupey brown color, nothing too too dark, but just a next step in our transition. And I'm starting from the outer corners and again, adding more definition to her eyes. I prefer to blend after each and every eyeshadow coat just cause and then I go in with a nice orangey shade and add it right there near that transition just for a little pop of warmth. Next I'm going in with again my Senna Brow Book. Yes it is for eyebrows but shadow is shadow. <laughs> it was what I had handy so just went in with it. And now I'm alternating between a smaller brush and a fluffy brush and of course kind of shaping it outward. We want the darkest part of the side to be her outer corners for a lot of nice depth. And then I'm layering some more of that darker brown shadow in there to really blend out the black so it's not too harsh. Next I go in with some NYX glitter primer and then of course my Bodyography Champagne Glitter. Alright, so this is when everything comes together. I am now making sure the blend between the shadow and shimmer is on point, so I'm just deepening up the eye, blending out the transition a little bit more so everything looks bomb, of course. And then I am going in with my angled Morphe liner brush and my Inglot Black Gel Liner. I'm using my powder puff to stabilize my hand and I'm working that wing outward towards her temples for a really nice lift. If you need to, use a pencil to shape everything out before you go in with something permanent like the gel liner because it is really hard to clean up. Once it's on there, it is on there. So really make sure you take your time, move them around as you need, have them look up at you, have them look you know, left, right, up, down, around, make sure everything connects. And then this will be a really nice foundation for our lashes later on. Next, I'm just cleaning up with some micellar water and a flat concealer brush, of course. And then I'm going in with my black artist pencil from Makeup Forever. I also tight lined off camera and then I go in with that taupey brown color and just layer it right underneath of the pencil. Of course, fluff it out, duh. And then clean up everything in the inner corners. Any of that um, pencil that could have deposited elsewhere where we don't want it. Then I threw in some quick little highlighter, but we'll do more later. 
and then I quickly sized her lashes, which you need to get on, y'all. If you don't know, then you better know. Amavi lashes. I curated the collection from the very beginning. Look at this stunning vegan reusable lashes, girl. Look on mine. And then, of course, some lip balm, Laneige sleeping mask. You know it. And then I go in and start all the beautiful skin prep. For skin, I'm using my Eclat Vitamin C Serum, my Walita Skin Food Moisturizer, and then the Benefit Professional Primer, and then filling in just her T-zone there. Then I am just doing a super, super quick lash cover up, um, going back in with my gel liner, and then doing a quick shade match with my NARS Soft Matte Foundations and then using my already wet and fluffy pawpaw sponge, which are amazing, and on Amazon, and super affordable. And I start blending that foundation in into sections because they are matte, they are drying, so keep that in mind. Then I'm using my Temp2 color wheel and applying some highlighter, and then going in with my Anastasia Golden Tan Cream Bronzer, and then setting that where I want it as well. tad extra of the Claudelie Beauty Elixir, of course, so everything will blend out nicely. And then with the same exact sponge, I am just starting my way around everything. I did choose to start with her contour this time, and then afterwards I will jump in and really make sure I press that concealer in. Her skin was getting a little dry, so I went in with my Morphe Refresh Mist and spruced things up, and then I finished blending everything out with my sponge and then a fluffy Real Techniques concealer brush and really got as close as I possibly could, uh, made sure there wasn't too much excess product, and made sure everything was seamless. Then I set all that cream contour I did earlier with my Mayron Pressed Powders. Um, really, really just went over uh, the outsides of her face and then set everything that I just did with my Laura Mercier Loose Powder. Super generous with this part. If you've seen my other videos, then you know I love doing this trick. It just gives me a really nice flawless filter look afterwards. So I go in with my medium sized fluffy brush and I get into some more Mayron Pressed Powder. And then I go ahead and brush away all that Laura Mercier uh, loose powder. And then it just leaves me with such a silky, beautiful look. I went in and deepened her eye look under there. And then I used a fluffy brush and just, you know, blended out the corners everywhere that touches that foundation. And then went back in underneath and refluffed. Then I use my Happy Blush from Rare Beauty and apply that blush everywhere that needs a little more color and then I go in with my NARS cheek palette I mix a few colors together and then go ahead and set that liquid blush then I'm using my lightning palette from hourglass it is such a beautiful natural glow and I am just setting that beautiful first layer of highlighter now I go in with some more uh, sleeping mask for her lips pat it away this part is important and then I go ahead and start correcting her lips with my lip pencil all details are down below in case y'all forgot um, and then after that I go ahead and correct it with some concealer blend everything out so it's on point and then of course set it this part you cannot forget afterwards I of course go back into the lips and throw on some Mac lipstick and finish off with some NYX gloss and that is pretty much all for lips. I choose to jump back in and contour her nose a little bit more, really get into her inner corners right there, and fluff it all away. And then I go in with my Coco Bling Artist Couture Loose Highlighter in her inner corners and underneath her brows, and then use another fluffy brush to blend that out again. I did layer some more uh, black liner in her waterline just for extra pop and then use my fan brush with my Lancome mascara and set those lashes and then I just set the rest of her face with some airbrush Charlotte Tilbury thank you guys for watching please like comment subscribe and let me know if you have any questions
Bye. Thank you.